Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Hi, I'm Lauren Goff. Ex excuse the shadow over the face. I'm not the best at DP. He's terrible at the lighting. We're gonna watch a trailer for The House's October Built. What is that? It's a horror film. No. Don't know anything about I it. I refuse. Well, we're gonna watch a trailer. I hate scary things. I hate scary movies. I hate haunted houses. I hate things that are scary. Like I was watching The Walking Dead the other day, which I guess is kind of scary, but it's like too scary for me. And I was like, I can't watch this by myself. I have like this pillow and I, I, bet, I bet my hands were like white because I was clutching this pillow so tightly. You're probably used to clutching things tightly though. What? It's a dick joke, Lauren. Yeah, but we wouldn't want to clutch that tightly. Well, it depends on how hard the guy wants you to touch it. Right? I don't think butt? that you want me to clutch it so hard that my fists are white. You never know. <laughs> Nearly 25 haunted attractions open each Halloween. 2,500. Oh God. Tell me about yourself and what are we doing? You want my name? My name is Zach. You've known me for 20 years, Mikey. I rented an RV. I want to find the most extreme haunted house in the world. What is an extreme haunt? I don't understand how far, like how far that you really can go on without hurting somebody. What's your name, buddy? Hi, Mikey. How you What's the camera for? Are you doing, doing crime stuff with your cops or something? We're doing to catch a predator. To catch a predator? We're gonna go. I'm with all this group of people, and we're trying to find something extreme. Hey, we got it. It's in Louisiana this year. We don't have an address, though. <laughs> this is where they said to go. Is that the corner of the haunt? Shit, I didn't really say anything. Right. Something happened to your car? <laughs> Look what we have here. This is not a haunt. We're in the middle of nowhere in our RV. Yeah, I know. So we've been one. One more day. It's Halloween. We go home tomorrow. Hey, wait up! Wait up! Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't the scariest trailer. I can handle that. It's a cool title. It's a very interesting concept. Yeah, but I would have rather I would rather see a movie that actually takes place during the haunted mazes and stuff like that. Watch shit go wrong there instead of them leaving and going in an RV and stuff and going out in the middle of nowhere. I'd rather oh, see like okay, I get what you're saying. Actual shit go down and like people dying and like that's when I was really hooked. But once they left and got in the RV, I was like, oh. Well, I feel like there, there, there have been things like that already, though, that have been made. I mean, I don't know a lot about horror movies, but I feel like there have been movies that have been made about, like, haunted houses that are, like, actually... Oh, yeah, sure. Know. So, like, this is new, I feel like. It's new and... This, this it, is different. It, it's new in the, in the sense of how it's like... I mean, the found footage genre is getting kind of old to me, yeah. as I'm sure it is for a lot of people. As in terms of this, I mean, it looks like it could be a little different, but it doesn't look that scary, surprisingly. Yeah, like, there are a lot of commercials on TV when they're not like even the full trailer that are scary. Like, yeah. like I am watching like Modern Family and then a stupid commercial comes on and I'm like, ah, this was okay. I kept thinking that something was gonna like jump out or something was gonna happen, but it didn't happen, the whole trailer. Yeah, I mean, the makeup looks creepy, I guess. Other than that, I mean, it's like, but something about its like, execution feels maybe, too familiar. I mean, maybe they're like building a lot of suspense. I'm just sick of that shot of like, cameraman falls over, the camera gets perfectly yeah, and like, placed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it sees what's happening. Maybe it'll be good. Cool title, cool concept, but as far as this trailer's promoting it, I, I could honestly care less to watch I it. feel like they needed that last clip, you know, it's like really, really quiet and then it, it shows all the people's legs with the lights. Mm -hmm. I feel like that, that clip should, should have been something more shocking 
and that would have mm -hmm. been the thing at the end of the trailer that people were like, oh. I mean, are we supposed to be guessing the whole time? Like, is this a real haunting or, is, or are people just fucking with them? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? I don't know. Well, Lauren, you should have these answers. I don't have any answers about horror things. I told you I hate horror movies. I refuse to watch horror. I haven't even seen Jaws because I think that would be too scary. It is pretty scary. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to The Real Rejects, and you can subscribe to Lauren's channel. Yay! There we go. We mentioned the subscribe buttons. We did what YouTubers have to do. Okay. GB Gaming. GB Gaming! Can I have a shout out, please, Ryan? Okay. GB Gaming stands for Greg's Balls Gaming. Is that a game? Uh-huh. Or is there, are your balls gaming? Uh, the balls are like gaming. Playing a game. Are your balls playing a game? It's named after this famous guy named Greg Alba. Okay. Who has these ginormous balls. Okay. And he's able to control them by playing with the controller with just his two testicles. Actually, he has three testicles, from oh, what I understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. I keep mentioning this Greg guy a lot. I know, right? Who is that? Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. But he's, he's got big balls and stuff, apparently. I hear he outdoes me. You don't want big balls. Sure you do. No, that would be weird. Like, what are you going to do with those? You produce more sperm. Nobody wants that. You don't talk bad about Greg's three testicles, okay? So he's making like triple the sperm and he has huge balls. So he's making like quadruple the amount of sperm yeah, so as he's, a normal person. Yeah, so he's a very happy guy. Oh, how is that happy? What if he has these huge balls but he has a tiny penis? How'd you, how'd you know that about Greg? I don't know, I guessed. I'm really good about guessing people's penis size once I meet them. I don't know. Probably. What an interesting superpower that would be. You should become like a fortune teller, but for penis size. <laughs> <laughs> Drove Bahard Wash. Wash. You guys suck. Bard Wash. Drove Bard Wash. You start off with saying, you guys suck. Now that I got your attention, may I have a shout out? LOL, you guys are awesome. No, that was lame. That's fucked up, dude. You suck. You suck. Exclamation, 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 exclamation. You suck big fat balls that are backed up with a tiny penis. You suck Greg's balls and dick. GB Gaming. You and GB Gaming, he's always like, oh, Druv, suck my balls or whatever your name is. I don't know what you are. That sounds like you could be like. Druv. What, what do you think that Bardwaj. is? Bardwaj. Something Middle Eastern? Yeah, some Middle Eastern guy. Shh. The Middle East. They're the reason we are at war. Don't put that in the video. Why? Isn't that why we're at war? Okay. Didn't they do something? Yeah. I don't follow politics. Okay. We're there because we have a right to be there, right? We're there because America does whatever we want. When there's problems in the world, America likes to go in there and fix it. So that's what right. we're doing, right? Yeah, America's fixing everything. I say throw more troops in there. Cool. And find Drove. Drove will fix it. Bring him to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wonder how many people I just pissed off. <laughs> lots. <laughs> lots. Sure lots of people. Yeah. Faraz Tahir. Yo, real. Give me a shout out, please. Sure, real. I'll be more than happy to give you a shout out right after I turn my phone off. Um, I mean, not real. What's his name? Faraz? Faraz, Faraz. Tahir. Now, he's definitely Middle Eastern. Faraz Tahir. We have a lot of Middle Eastern subscribers. Cool guys. You know, I'm a big fan of Middle Eastern people. I'm not racist at all. That's a lie. I'm not. You go into any 7-Eleven and I treat all those Middle Easterns with a lot of respect. I do. I do. Oh God. I'm making a movie about what it's like in the life of Iraq and the main characters are Middle Eastern. It's about one Middle Eastern taking on about 90% of the other characters are terrorists. Mm -hmm. And it's about this one Middle Eastern who's like, I will not be a terrorist. Why are you implying <laughs> that, that? That was fucked up. <laughs> I hope I didn't piss off too many people, but I probably did. Faraz, I'm sure you're a good guy. I know you're not a terrorist. I don't know. He does subscribe to your channel, so. It might be a terrorist. Might be. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Al Qaeda is somehow infiltrating my channel and I have to stop them before it's too late. All right, so that's it for shout outs, you guys. Subscribe, I hope you enjoyed, goodbye. Mm-hmm, <laughs> peace in Iraq.
or war if you're for it.